Connie Cowell. Connie's the director of the Libertyville Sports Complex. Everybody knows where that is, right? Uh, Connie's been a Chicago sports executive for over 30 years, served in many key front office executive positions with various sports organizations, including 14 seasons in Major League Baseball with the Cubs. And I know Connie's going to expand on some of the things that he's uh, experienced in his life. So welcome, Connie. Thanks, Nancy. Uh, thanks to uh, the marketing committee for inviting me here today. Um, put, put your seatbelts on. We're going to go pretty fast here. I'm going to give a lot of Connieisms today. Here's what we're going to do today. Being an old high school teacher, here's how the class is going to be run today. Carol, what time's the show end for me? 8.20. Okay. I need a volunteer. You're it. At 8.10. What's your name? Robert. Hold on. We're going to introduce him. Who we, who we are what company? Robert, serve dry, water damage and mold. What town? Buffalo Grove. Put your hands together for Rob. <laughs> Rob, your job at 810, I want you to get out of your chair, stand up, raise your hand, point at me, and say, Connie, it's 810. Can you handle it? Okay. We're on our way. I am Connie Kowal. I have lived in Libertyville since 79. I'm a Chicago guy growing up in Glen Ellen. And I've been privileged to work in my hometown my entire lifespan, with the exception of three years when I worked down in New Orleans. And I worked for the New Orleans Saints. I was their chief marketing officer, chief of staff, and I was down there in 03, 04, and the Katrina 05 season. I've got a lot of stories, and I'm going to share a lot of them with you today. But I've been with a lot of teams, and I've been a president. I've been a general manager, I've been a vice president, I've been a PR director, I've been a marketing director, I've done sponsorships, community relations, youth development, just about every subset, except I never had to count the beans, okay? I left it to the accounting people, and that's probably the only part department I haven't overseen in my career. I've overseen it, but I didn't have to know it to really supervise it. But my thing today is, why market? And... The answer to that is, you better. You have to. It should be in your blood system. You should be marketing every day. And marketing is awareness. Okay, simple. People get real technical with the terms marketing. It's awareness. And how do you get awareness is the trick. You have to market every single day, every hour, every day, every week, all throughout the year. You have to. That's a prerequisite for any business. I don't care what the business is. As Nancy said, I do consulting as well. And again, I help people make money. And the first thing I ask is, you know, how do you market yourself? And they go, well, we sort of, you know. If you're the leader of your company, you're the leader of your business, you should be the number one marketeer. I look at Jim here, okay, from Fodrax. He owns Fodrax. He's a dear friend. He's a sponsor of the sports complex. He values the fact that we have so many people come on our building that he wants to get to his place. And look at Jim here, okay, nice enough to do the breakfast. He's also wearing his colors. Be the number one fan of your own fan club, which is you. Wear your logo. Wear your company. Promote, market, advertise. Promote, market, sell. Those are the bywords that I've used every step of the way in my career. At Wrigley Field, when we work for the Cubs, promote, market, sell. Promote, market, sell. Awareness. How do you get the message out? You use everything within your resources. But first and foremost, if you're a leader, you got to be the marketing leader. And if it's not in your DNA, it's not in your personality, then find someone who will do it for you because you got to have someone trumpeting the cause. So I say that to you because today is a day for all of you guys to sort of start over, recommit. What's the techie term? Reboot. You have a chance to reboot today, okay? A Connieism. Business is a contact sport, okay? Business is a contact sport. Get out, meet people. It's also building alliances. That's marketing. 
when the chips are down in life and in business, who do you go to? Your family, your friends, and the people you're tightest with when the chips are down. The more alliances you can have, the better. Build alliances. And then find a way that you can work with that alliance to make things happen. Draw upon your alliances. That's how you help market yourself. Another thing, everyone markets in your organization. I'll be at a department head meeting at Village Hall at 9 o'clock, and I'll be there with the police chief, the fire chief, the community development guy, the finance gal, the public works guy. And they do their things, and then it comes to me, and I'm director of fun. And I go, here's what we got going on, and always marketing, always promoting. All of a sudden, they're like, hey, Con, I got an idea. What if we, everybody's got marketing blood in them? You got to draw that from every member of your staff. Challenge them. Always promote something. I don't care what it is. Promote something. Always be selling something. In the end, it's sales. In the end, it's sales. You can win a lot of glamour awards. I've won Addies. I've won all these big awards. In the end, did it move the needle on your sales? In New Orleans, my advertising efforts and my marketing efforts. We won this big national award and best TV commercial and sports and all this other stuff. We went from 35,000 season tickets to 55,000 tickets in one year. That's pretty good. Thank you very much. Give him lukewarm applause. Okay, what didn't he do? And he didn't point at me. Okay, you did half the job. But at least you, but, but you were timely. One of the things I do every time I do this, and I speak to Kellogg Business, I, I speak everywhere. One of the things I do is I give people a job and I see if they can do it. Okay? I'll give you a C plus. All right? Okay? Even the most mundane tasks are judged. Okay? I'll remember Rob, okay? And I'll remember your lukewarm performance. He'll have a chance the next time I see him to do a better job. But every day you are being measured. You're being watched by your customers. Do what you need to do. Get out of the office. You're going to market yourself? Get out of the office. Get out of the office. I don't want to see you. A buddy of mine, Mike Poliski, ran the Chicago Rush Arena football team, and he asked me to consult with them after I left the Saints and came back home. I said, Mike, get out of the office. He goes, I can't. I'm the president of the team. I said, yeah, and you're doing a nice job meeting nobody behind your desk. <laughs> I said, who owns your team? He goes, well, Mike Ditka and all that. I said, great. Go to Ditka's restaurant. Go have lunch every Tuesday and just hang out. And I bet you you run into some people that go, aren't you Mike Poliski? You're the president of the rush. Yes, I, as a matter of fact, I am. And here's a pocket schedule. We play this Saturday. And nice meeting you. Okay. And he was, Mike finally got it and thanked me. But for a while, he was like, he had that umbilical cord. <laughs> like, I got to be in the office. Get out of the office. You want to market yourself? Get out in the community and market. You're doing it today. Own your company? Take ownership. Take charge. Don't let things happen that slip away because you're going to be evaluated by it. Database. We're trying to know our customer, one of the ABCs of marketing, collect your database and then E something. Whatever it is, E it. Okay? I've got an E club for the driving range. Get it? E club. Oh, God, he's a genius. I've got 900 people who've said, send me stuff. If they like your business, they don't consider a junk email, they go, send me more. But collect the data. E something. Okay? Old principles in marketing work, but you got to adapt to the 21st century. I know the power of social media. You're going to hear about it later today. Okay? Get a grasp of it. Okay? Twitter, Fritter, Critter, all this stuff that's out there. I have no idea how to work it, but I surround my people, myself with people who do, and we're starting to use it, and we're starting to say, hey, that's a cool way to market inexpensive, cute, and trendy. But get into the 21st century, but stick to the old school principles. Promote 
market sell and do so in some of these things I've been telling you. Think, think, think. Can we do it a better way? I talked about what if. Every day, reevaluate and figure out how you can market. Resources. I don't have any money. Big deal. I don't have any money with the village. We get it done. Find a way. The excuse bucket is pretty big. We were talking earlier. Um, we were talking earlier today about the recession and the, yeah, great, okay, cute stuff. Get through it, work through it, be a survivor, and be someone who said, I beat the recession. When you do get discovered, don't rest on your laurels. In the sales world, you're only as good as yesterday's sales, right, Brad? And when I get something in the paper or we get some, something that's mailed out to everyone in Libertyville, I get staff that gets excited. How cool. That was really great. Okay, we're going to be hot stuff for a couple days. Then what's next? This is not the be-all, end-all. What you do next week isn't the end of the show. It's a constant, constant marketing daily grind. And some people get complacent and say, all right, we've done it. It should work now. Every day come up with something new. Yeah, you'll be hot stuff for a couple days. And people will say, that's a neat thing about you. You got to come back for more. Get out with your customers and thank them. That's the best marketing tool you can have. When Jim's at Fodrax and he's greeting customers, sitting down with them, thanking them for their business, and working the crowd in some small way of sincere thanks. Marketing 101. If you're in the back office, get to the front lines and do it a lot. Experience what your, uh, your employees have to go through every day and interact with your customers. I don't see enough of it. Lastly, hustle and do things. Look back on the year you've had and say, what did we do this year? Market, promote, sell. They're going to tell you different ways you can do it. Print ads, social media, branding techniques, change your whole look, hire Moxie to do a special event. Um, email stuff. These guys will tell you how that works, and you've got to pick and choose. I say try them all. And I'm not saying that to be a nice little political statement. You've got to mix it up and give it a try. Until you try it, you don't know. But you've got to market every single day. I think I've covered some of the high points that I wanted to share with you. Remember, when you market, everyone markets. Everyone in your company. If they're not, teach them, coach them, train them, and lead by example. I hope you take some of these principles. You've written some of them down. I'm going to be available at the end of the show because you've got a great panel of speakers here today. With that, thank you, and go get them.